What an adventure we have had tonight, okay? Ooh, spooky, but no, it's not a laughing matter. I'm actually hunting. I'm searching for an injured bird. My cat is a frigging bird killer, you guys. When I tell y'all, my back is on fire and spasming, but there is no way in heck I am leaving a little injured bird out here. I heard all this commotion. I mean, these birds going insane, right? And I couldn't figure out what it was till I came out and noticed Martin was crouching and I thought, oh, he's getting pecked by the birdies. You know, maybe he's too close to a nest and he's getting pecked by birds. So I came out to defend my kitty cat and come to find out my cat has a bird in its mouth. A beautiful, fluffy little bird. I hear peeping. I hear peeping. So I... Birdie, birdie. So I corralled Martin inside after I basically spanked the bird out of his mouth and the little bird was able to shuffle away and was cornered in the corner by my window and uh, I locked Martin in the bathroom and went inside to call animal control to see if somebody could come help him and in the moments that I was inside calling animal control he's gone but I want to be sure that he was able to fly away. Maybe he was just scared because I was out here, you know, watching him. So I gave him his space, figuring, you know, he'll walk away. I mean, or fly away if he can, and I hope that's what happened. I hear tweeting, but frogs also make that little chirpy noise. I don't see him. I hope he flew away. This cat is getting ridiculous with the cat with the bird killings he really is it's like it's getting out of hand and I know it's a nature thing it's a natural thing circle of life and all but it's it's heartbreaking let me show y'all something do y'all see this right there that's bird poop okay that's bird poop and that bird poop was from a frightened birdie yesterday that he was chasing around out here and it actually slammed into the window and I think it literally scared the poop out of him. Martin literally scared the poop out of him because we saw the bird hit the glass and we're like, there's no way this bird did not see this smudge dirty glass because this dirty glass, I mean, this glass door stays dirty. And I'm like, no way this birdie did not see this door. No, it was Martin. It was Martin chasing after birds. I don't know if they're baby birds that are just learning to fly. It didn't look like a baby baby. It had full feathers, but it looked small compared to the other ones and fluffy. You know, when their babies are fluffy. Um, but yeah, he was chasing them and scared one right into the glass door. And it literally pooped on it on itself. But I called animal control. They said they're going to have an officer call me. But now the birdie's gone. But before animal control calls or says, or I tell them, never mind. I want to make sure that the birdie is not anywhere. Because I just know if I leave Martin locked up in that bathroom, he's going to be yowling like a moron. I'm so upset and I feel so guilty, guys, because I'm out here making bird feeders and bird houses, you know, available to the little birds. And my cat's freaking killing them. I'm basically offering up a free-for-all, eat-all-you-can buffet for my cat. I feel so bad. I may just take down the, the feeders and everything. I mean, I like the birds around. But this is sad sad I don't like this at all but I'm inside the birdie hopefully and thankfully flew away and is safe because I searched everywhere and I couldn't find it and the peeping 
that I thought I heard I assumed are the little froggies out there. I finally let Martin out of his enclosure in the bathroom where I had him and I could hear him slamming around things, knocking off things off my counter, just mad as all get out because he was imprisoned momentarily. But uh, the police department ended up calling me back, not animal control. Now, when I called animal control, dispatch was who answered. And I explained it was an animal control situation because that's the number that popped up for animal control. Well, it turned out the city police ended up calling maybe half an hour, 45 minutes later and explained that animal control was not back in the office until 8 o'clock. And there wasn't anything they could do with the bird because they weren't equipped for the bird. If I could keep it safe, uh, they recommended a shoebox and some towels. And I'm like, you know, I had the same idea, but between the time me coming in looking for my flashlight and um, um, getting some gloves to pick up the little bird, it was gone. Uh, maybe it was just scared of me hovering over it, but I haven't been able to find it. I looked all around the yard and everything is good. He goes, oh, well, that's good. He goes, then, then um, hopefully everything is all well. So I hope all is well with the little birdie. But yeah, that was a trip. I went into, I don't know what mode, okay? I went into pr protect a bird mode and friggin' Martin would not let him go. And I was like, like spanking him on the side of his, you know, little butt. And he eventually opened his mouth and a little bird fluttered off. But that's just disturbing, okay? I, I know it's a natural thing, but he's my cat okay he's like my child so to see my child do diabolical things is just really disturbing to me it was really gross i really thought the little bird was hurt but that little corner that he was sitting in while i was like watching him um um there was no blood when i went back to check and he was gone there was no blood or anything so hopefully he was just stunned uh and terrified and hopefully he's back up in the bird up in the trees with his birdie friends because the commotion guys i'm terrified of birds but i felt so bad and the commotion that they were causing when one of their own was being attacked i'd never heard anything like that i mean i've heard birds before but this was chaos like chirpy chirpy chaos it was quite disturbing i mean i think about it, it makes me sad but hopefully birdie is in the tree i feel terrible letting martin out but if I don't, he is a yowly, howly mess all night long. And I told y'all that friggin' time he almost died on me when he got that urinary infection. I swear you guys, his vet said that stress can cause that. And if he's used to being outside and inside and you switch up their routine and stuff, that can cause undue stress and cause your UTIs and urinary blockages and stuff. Do y'all believe that crap? I have... A cat with issues like that? Like, are all cats like this? Or did some special little kitty follow us home from the mailbox many years ago? But anyway, I need some good vibes. So I decided to sit here and show you guys the stuff that I picked up at Thrift Town yesterday when I went looking for little dude. Um, when I went looking for little dude's uh, graduation options. Um, that's another thing. I got home get in the car we went to burlington first there was nothing there he wanted uh we went to ross next there was nothing there he wanted then we went over to Coles because sometimes Coles has things he likes and it's not that he doesn't like the clothing it's that he's kind of out of his element in like a dressier slack and a dress shirt he has sensory issues so things have to he doesn't like short sleeves he has to be covered even in the summertime, which is why he wears hoodies, he feels safer and more comfortable covered. Um, he does wear basketball shorts, but even that, he has to slowly get back into that because his legs are exposed and he feels air and everything. It's a whole sensory thing. It's an autism thing. So um, the pants, the, the material, the material is what was kind of throwing him off touching on his legs. There was certain materials he didn't like. So we ended up with a nice pair of um kind of khakis i'll show you guys but i already took them upstairs and um, i'm getting ready to iron them and i don't want to go up the stairs just yet because my back is killing me but we got some not as stiff as like a chino but a, a little a little softer 
khaki kind and then he picked out a nice striped long sleeve shirt at walmart guys we went all over the place we ended up at friggin walmart i said i know walmart has the kind of stuff that you used to like because when they used to have to wear uniforms and uniform type of clothing that's where we would buy the pants he's like yeah something like the uniform pants so we go sure enough he finds a khaki color one and then a blue and something something long sleeve shirt uh so we got him that uh he would not budge on the shoes <laughs> he is just gonna wear either a pair of his nikes or some jordan I don't know how that's going to work with a blue shirt, a khaki bottom, and black shoes. I don't know. But whatever. He was so funny. He's like, Mom, my body, my style. <laughs> my body, my style, my choice. Okay? I don't get what the big deal is. I'm like, you're right. You're right. So let him wear whatever the heck he wants to wear. It's the last day of school officially for him. I'm not going to send him Friday. They're only going to go to school for three hours. What's the point? And I don't trust last days of school. I think I may have told you guys this before because you never know what kind of shenanigans and things can go on. So mm -mm. I don't do that. The last couple years, honestly, I haven't let I haven't sent him on the last day of school. But yeah, I'm just gonna let him do him. He's already nervous about having to walk across the stage in front of people. You know, he's he he has anxiety about things like that. But anyway, so we ran around all over doing that, and then. Came home, whipped up a real quick dinner, and we sat down and we're watching Halloween. Because I told you guys every week this week, every day this week, he decided we were going to watch one of the Halloween movies. So we're watching the third movie that we were watching when I heard all that commotion outside. And then we had to pause the movie and we're running around and I'm wrestling with the cat. And I forgot all about my back, you guys, until it all was said and done and I came in and sat down and here I am again. But I'm not, I'm not gonna take anything until I get ready to go to bed I have to do my stretchy exercises um uh, which uh was my homework from my therapist so but anyway goodness gracious I figured while I still have a little energy left in me let's get into the thrifty stuff so this is what I picked up at thrift thrift town yesterday <laughs> supposed to go in it but the reason I got it is because I got that gazing ball that big blue gazing ball at thrift town a couple hauls ago and I currently have it sitting on my plant stand but that's taking up space that I can use for a plant and I thought that this would be perfect because the gazing ball actually has a little stem that I think would be perfect in here and then the big blue ball can sit on top of that and I'm like that's gonna be pretty gazing balls have had their their time mill their tech you know I don't care according to all the garden your neighbors hate this kind of stuff um vlogs and stuff gazing balls are passe and tacky I don't care I like what I like so I thought this would be perfect for it and I paid $4.99 and it's heavy and I better put it down because I'm getting twinges okay do y'all remember, I don't know if y'all remember, I have these tiny little shepherd hooks on some of my potted plants outside. And I told you I wanted to hang something cute off of the hook. Look what I found. Isn't that cute? Just be yourself. And I hope the weather's not going to ruin it because it's just wood. 
but I just thought it was absolutely adorable and the perfect size to hang from one of the pots back there in the back with purple heart in it. Uh, and this was $1.99. Perfect. I love when I find things from my yard, guys. And then I came across this thing. Now, the packaging says Walgreens heating pad. And this is actually the one that I have currently, the bigger one. This is kind of small. I have the bigger one. So I got excited when I saw this one. I'm like, oh, it's a small one, which would be perfect for, like, my shoulder or the back of my neck. So uh, I opened it. And it's not the Walgreens brand. It's some other little brand of um, heating pad. I guess whoever bought it swapped out their used one for the Walgreens one. But I connected it, tried it out, and it heated up on all levels really, really nice. But it didn't have a sticker on it. Uh, so she sold it to me for $4. So I thought that was a really good deal for another heating pad. Something to keep at my sister's house. Something to possibly just keep at work because I keep hauling mine and sometimes I forget to bring it home and then I'm just like all crinkled up and hurting. Oh, it's a moth. I heard pecking at the window and I thought it was the birdies coming after me for, you know, letting their brethren get attacked by my cat. But it's just moths. But anyway, so yeah, uh, I have a spare heating pad, which is going to be awesome. Anything else? non okay so now let's get into the girly stuff that i was really excited about like i said do not judge me i love bright patterns and i love bright colors i mean bold patterns and bright colors i love them although i am not as bold as i used to be when it comes to wearing them you guys i i see that we are fluctuating like color is changing as i move so i hope this video doesn't give anybody a friggin headache i can't film in here i don't know what's going on in this room in particular but anyway so these were purple tags and the purple tag uh was 50 percent off this week is 50 percent off this week and honestly this is a little big a little big in the shoulders but it's big enough around my belly because i don't want anything painting my belly it's this crazy chevron loosey-goosey kind of bell sleeve top and I thought this would be so stinking pretty with white bottoms and it has this little crisscross neck thing happening in the back I thought it was so pretty and it covered all my sinful monster and it oh that popped that was delicious and it was oh Okay, well, apparently somebody was selling it for $36. This looks like a Dillard's brand, a Dillard's tag. Um, but where's the Thrift Mart tag? It was 50% off of $7.99, I think. Where the heck did, yeah. Yeah, 50 off of $7.99. And I thought it was pretty. I put it on, and I almost left it behind. By looking at it, I almost left it behind. And until I tried it on, I'm like, this could definitely work. So... Grab that. Ooh, you guys, that friggin' cat. That friggin' cat is trying to kill me. And then this one, again, bold pattern. It's a little flower blouse, but I loved the shoulder. You see these, this little, this little, what is this? What is this called? What, what is this? A little sleeve, and then it has the same little gathered whoozy whatses at the sleeve, and it's this pretty floral pattern again it's just a straight blouse uh covered all my sins this one also is a little big but it's gonna work with a half tuck and full tuck a back tuck a tucky tuck and then i like the button in the back and the little peephole but there's somebody's hair on it now that made me want to throw up honestly and i forgot about it until i looked at it just now and it still makes me want to throw up so somebody's hair got all snaggle toothed up in here all snaggly in the button and I have to remove that because I don't do that okay I don't do hair I don't even like my own hair like when you're in the shower and there's a wet hair on the on the wall or on your shampoo bottle or, I hate that it makes me sick um and then I found this little thing and I wasn't gonna get it but I'm like this would be perfect for outside the swap meet doing yard work around the house doing laundry is this little uh time and true is that Walmart that's Walmart right Time and true. Is that maternity? Hell, I look like I'm pregnant. But it's just this little, what I call Henrietta Hippo blouse. It has a little, a little ruffly on the bottom. 
but it was 50% off of um, $2.29. So, hex, yeah, I'm bringing this home. But then I didn't just want a shirt. I wanted something to go with it, right? Because I'm, ten, I'm, look, I'm noticing that I have a lot more tops and bottoms. So I'm trying to put outfits together, especially when it comes to just like lounging around the house, sleepy kind of things. For some reason, I want an outfit. So I found these little leggings. They are so stinking soft, guys. So stinking soft. And they were the cheapest leggings that I could find because most of them were $6.99 and $7.99. These were the cheapest that I found that actually matched those that would fit me at $4.49. So I didn't think that was bad. And then I happened to... Nika Pikaloo and their Lulu, uh, their Lula Row, their Lula Row. So I was like, Lula Row, are they all this soft? And I think I have, um, thrifted some Lula Rows, but because I like the pattern and I like the colors, but they are really, really soft. Then the only other things that I picked up, I couldn't leave behind, guys. I couldn't, I would have been so sad if I left these behind. I don't need any more. So I'm definitely going to have to do another purse clean out. I really, really have to. But there is no stinking way I was going to leave this beauty behind. Look at the little nasty greña hair. I'm telling you. Look at these pretty leather flowers. And not one is missing. The leather handle is nice and intact. The little chains are looking lovely the little chain handle but that bow guys are you stinking kidding me and the inside is pristine it doesn't stink and it is a miss betsy johnson and i tend to like betsy johnson because they're so wild and the colors are so awesome and the patterns are so out there and this was 8.99 so you know i had to love it for my frugal i won't say cheap frugal butt to have paid that and then the only other thing that i picked up there was another one and i did put this one back twice because i have a patent bag but not like this okay and i went back for it it's this patent lovely okay i love the stinking hardware the hardware is amazing it has three compartments i stuffed the center with bags so you all could kind of get the shape of it because it was kind of flat but you can hold pretty good amount of things in there, as wide as it is. And it has this strap. And what I loved about it is that considering it's at a thrift store, usually these patent leather straps and the bottoms are all chipped and, and flaky. But this one is dang near pristine. Even the inside. Yeah, there's no stains. There's no smells. Uh, there's the little mark that uh, Thrift Town made in it to mark the department in case the price tag falls off. That's how they know uh, what to charge you for something. But I just thought it was so stinking pretty. I'll carry it this way before I'll use the strap. It's just, it's so ladylike, so classic. I just loved it. And this one was $6.99. So that is everything that I picked up at the thrift town yesterday. I did grab one thing today at uh, Walmart with, every time I see a clearance rack, I have to go sneak a peek a loom. And they had a whole bunch of these I'm going to wear them as pajamas. It's this lilac and gray long sleeve with short set. They had a whole bunch of these. But only one had a price tag. And it wasn't even a price tag. It was a, a sticker. A little green clearance sticker. And it was a 3X in blue and black. Really big. But the purple ones that were in the size I felt I would be comfortable in had no tags. Not even the little plastic tags the only one that had a price was the blue and black one with a little sticker that had four dollars so i took the blue and black one up along with this one to show the cashier that hey this one is four dollars none of the other ones have prices but i want this one so because the sticker itself didn't have a little what are those uh bars that anything that she could scan she tiki 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 did something and sold it. Sold this one to me for four dollars. So I just love it. Little shorts, little shorts and a and a sweatshirt or sweat tee kind of thing. So cute for four bucks. Hex, yeah. But that's everything down here. I did get the two tambos. I did get the one that I paid for with things that I purchased for little dude and a few jewelry pieces. 
and I did get uh, the one, the sponsor one, I guess. So I'm going to show you guys both, but then I'm probably going to come back here in a day or so and do a separate Temu one for the sponsored one because I know they want the link of the reviews, my, you know, what I feel, what my opinions on them. So I'll probably... Um, cut and create a new video. So if you guys, I'll tell you guys now, if you guys in a day or two see Tamu Review, just know that that's what it is. Because I, I don't plan on making two separate videos. I think I'll just, like when I'm making this one with you guys, I'll, I'll edit it so that I can make it look like its own video. So if y'all kind of see me pause for the cause and then start like I'm starting new, that's probably how I'm going to do it. I've never done this before, guys. I've never had a sponsored video or an affiliate video, affiliate, affiliate video. So I want to be sure that I'm doing it right because I do appreciate that they looked out, uh, that they looked um, for me to help become an affiliate. So I think that's cool, but I want to do it right. But let me get upstairs because honestly, I am in super, super pain. I'm going to pop me some pills, get my heating pad connected, and then we'll open the Temu upstairs where I can be a little more comfortable. Okay, hang on. Okay, I forgot to show you guys something because it was on that side of the table. Y'all see a roof, right? Okay, for the longest time I have wanted to haunt a playhouse for Halloween, but everyone that I see is just too stinking adorable to paint and make gross and scary. But... Because Little Dude and I love scary movies so much. And usually scary movies have really pretty homes in them. I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a friggin' Halloween house or a scream house. So I have plans for this house and I paid $7.99 for it, guys. Because I don't even have to touch the outside to make it scary-fied. It's going to be a scary movie theme. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a scream or a Halloween. I honestly think I want to do a Halloween. I have some ideas for uh, some Michael Meyer cutouts. Michael Myers cutouts propped up against the windows or something. But let me show you guys this Pretty little house. Now it splits in two. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, yep, it's splitting. It splits in two parts. It's missing one little piece of a uh, wall, but that's okay because I'm actually gonna. Um, there's the back. There's the side. And look at all the windows, guys. All the windows where I can prop up some creepy nonsense see right here that opening right there that's what's broken out but I think I'm gonna do board it up maybe or maybe it's supposed to be like I don't know but there's the front look at the front isn't that the sweetest little stinking house I mean as is it's adorable but when I haunt it and put spooky little figures in the windows and in the doors i think it's going to be amazing now in here there are some little light fixtures you see them okay both are there and i don't know if there's one here nope just here so we have two little light fixtures in there with actual little bulbs in there and it's a little battery pack right here i just noticed that honestly within the last five minutes i just noticed there's a battery pack here, so I guess that's what'll light up the, the little um, lights. Cause here's the button that you push. So I'm gonna have so much fun with this guy. The little dude saw the house. He's like, "Mom, why'd you buy a dollhouse?" And I told him, "Remember, I told you I wanted to make a creepy house for Halloween." Yeah. I said we're actually gonna either make a scream or a Halloween house, and I explained to him what the plan was, and he loved it. He thought it was amazing. So that's gonna be a lot of fun too create something spooky with this but now i'm gonna head myself upstairs hola guys it is the next morning uh i had intended to do the temu uh haul of it all but after i got out of the shower yesterday my body was so freaking pained and tired it crinkled up like a freaking charred up piece of paper I just bleh. so I lie down and I was out I was gone and I woke up around two something this morning like oh I was supposed to do a team haul 
and let me tell you guys I have no patience and I love Tamu so much that at 2 17 in the morning I was willing to get up and open up and look around inside this couch but I didn't I was good I was just gonna get my rest but like I said because I have no patience I have this little package that we're gonna open together at work now I'm probably gonna do a voiceover as I'm opening things because um, I don't need my coworkers all up in my business and uh, there's somebody always in there so it's not like I can just like at lunchtime or whatever there's somebody always in there um, so I'm gonna do that today um, I'm having a bit of a rough morning uh, the spasms are pretty bad I don't know if it's the cat if it was my uh, fighting with that fuzzball and let me tell you guys I was so scared to get up this morning uh, because I just knew I was gonna find a little birdie carcass on the sidewalk but no no birdie carcass plenty of blue jays on the prowl a bunch of freaking blue jays flying around I swear it's gonna be a bird situation where they blame me and they're gonna attack me and there's no phone booth around for me to hide in but I'm on my way to work I'm gonna get there I'm gonna get me a hot cup of coffee I'm gonna get my heat and pad started I'm gonna get my cues cleared out and then we're gonna see what is in the Tamu and the reason I'm so excited about the Tamu guys is because I got some jewelry pieces in it and y'all know I love me some shiny bling uh, so I will see you guys there <laughs> 